This is the third video in a series about how we use mylar with embroidery designs. We're going to go right into this one and this is the most difficult one so if you haven't seen part one and part two please go back and check those first. This one won't make as much sense until you do that. In this video we're going to do a cornucopia filled with autumn foods. We will be using several different colors of brilliant mylar as several different layers and we'll show you how that works. We're going to start off as usual, hoop your fabric and your stabilizer as you would for a regular design. The first color in the design is going to sew out the outline of the entire design for us. This outline gives you the total design area. The first color in this design is going to be a brown, so I'm going to use a burnt umber color of mylar and cover the outline and put some tape to hold it in place. Once the mylar is in place, go ahead and start sewing. Once the mylar is in place, you can go ahead and start sewing. You can skip the tack down stitch or use it, it doesn't really matter here. Okay, the first color's finished sewing out, so what we're going to do is remove the hoop from the machine and tear off all of the excess mylar, especially in this area in the middle. This area we don't want to have sew out brown. Okay, the next color in the design is going to be orange for pumpkins and some other fruit in this cornucopia. So we're going to lay a piece of bright orange mylar on top of the, the design and we're going to use a couple pieces of tape to hold it in place. Now everything's in place so we're going to let it start sewing. Now we'll repeat the steps. The orange is finished sewing out. We'll slide the hoop off the machine, tear off the mylar, and then put it back on with a new color of mylar. The next color in this design is gold for the corn that's in the cornucopia. So I'm using a gold piece of mylar on top of the whole design and I have it taped in place. There are only two little tiny spots that are sewn with the gold, so you can see why this becomes a little more difficult than just the two or three layer version of a design. We're going to tear the mylar off of this one and go on to the next color. The next color in the design is red, so we're layering a piece of red mylar on top with some tape to hold it in place. Now the red in this design has been finished and you can see again it's just a couple of little small spots in here. Next step is to, to remove the excess mylar and then we'll move on to the next color. The next color to sew out will be a bright green. So we've put a small piece of bright green mylar where that element needs to sew out. Okay, the green is finished so now the next step is to remove the excess mylar. Now the remaining colors in the design are either really small spots or areas where I want the color of the thread to show through rather than the color of the mylar. So I've laid a piece of opal translucent mylar on top of the whole design and I've taped it down and we're going to sew the rest of the colors allowing the thread to show through. Okay, all of the various colors have been sewn out now. We're ready for the black outline. The problem is there is still mylar on top of some of the design and if you allow the outline to sew it's going to make it very difficult to get the, all of the mylar off. So for these designs when you've layered mylar like this you probably want to go ahead and take off the top layer so that when you sew the outline it doesn't get all trapped up inside. And here's our final design. Some of the parts have been done with brilliant mylar, the other parts have been done with opal translucent, but either way you get a gorgeous cornucopia and this would be wonderful on a table runner or in a quilt or any other autumn project.